Hello Valid Views, this is Matt Monty and now we are seeing the Seatbelt Engineer QSPT-1 from Cubic System in action for the first time. I've left out my platform so that we can solely concentrate on the Seatbelt Tensioner. As soon as we accelerate, the belts tighten and are pressed into the seat. The software gives you lots of options for adjusting whether the belts are tightened during acceleration or braking or both. You can also adjust this individually for when you are airborne or on the ground. Normally you would feel the belts in real life when braking on negative G, but you can also reverse the feeling by letting the belts press you into the seat as an acceleration or positive G. And now you can see the power of the belt tensioner. I still can move freely and I've made the belts a little looser and in a high G turn with 6 to 7 G I'm pressed into the seat like in a real fighter jet and can no longer move. Thanks to my 6 point safety belt I can also feel the G force on my legs. And as I said negative G can also be simulated but I have already reduced it here. The centrifugal forces are also great when the aircraft rolls around the longitudinal axis. You can see that the belts are tightened individually on the left and right and there are numerous additional effects such as firing the cannon, the belts are tightened and vibrate. You will see it in a minute. There we go. This is also available for rockets, bombs, shafts, flares, etc. And last but not least, the ejection seat is also simulated. It's a lot of fun with the BT-1 and the forces make you dream of having your own fighter jet. So before we switch to racing simulation, let's have a look on the software which is provided for setup. You can change the curves for positive and negative G, meaning how much tension shall be applied to different G levels. Then we have braking with the overall gain value, which is the airborne value, and of course it says it's the ground value, which differs from airborne. Sharpness, dead zone, the same for acceleration. We have sideways acceleration, we have centrifugal force, we have bounce, but I'm not sure what that is. We have engine vibration, we have cannon fire effect, we have a missile launch effect, we have flare chef, dispense effect, and seat eject effect. And when we now switch to race simulations, um, for example to Assetto Corso, you see the values which are the same for other racing simulations. We have braking and overall gain value, sharpness and dead zone. We have sideways acceleration, centrifugal force, bounce once again, wheel forward slip lock, wheel slip angle, ref limiter, gear change effect, engine vibrations, side slip, pre-impact protection and vertical g-force. So let's switch to racing and you already can see the vibrating belts from the engines being simulated by the software, which is feeling great. The second small effect is the gear shift movements. Every time you shift up, you shift down, those belts do little, little movements and you feel shifting the car. It feels really, really great. And um, of course, the main forces that are being applied is braking. So if you brake hard, um, both belts are being pulled down and you feel the force of decelerating the car. And the other thing are the lateral forces. So with the upcoming terms, look at them exactly. I do left, right, left, right, left, right turns. And the belts are doing the same. It's right, left, right, left. So it's the opposite way where the belts are being pulled down and therefore the lateral forces are simulated very well and you feel them while racing your car. And the difference to flying is that flying concentrates on the vertical g-forces mainly, which are the strongest forces and the longitudinal forces, while um, racing is all about braking and lateral forces. So the software reacts a different way in race simulations than in flight simulations. And perfectly here at Schwedenkreuz being simulated. Now the left turn term comes, so right hand side is being pulled down. Now you see it, wow, and now it comes breaking, both of them. Wow, hardly being pulled down. You feel the force of breaking. It feels quite naturally and strong, of course. We are in a race car, not on a school bus. 
So I'm um, more of a pilot. You see it in my racing um, skills I present to you. I'm not such a good racer. Um, and, uh, but I just wanted to give it a try. I'm being distracted already. So ladies and gentlemen, I can highly recommend the Cubic System Belt Tensioner Qs BT1. It's a great toy. It makes lots of fun. And as the final act, I do a crash on purpose that you can see that even those forces are being simulated. So I hope you enjoyed my little introduction of the Qs BT1 and I hope to see you soon next time on the channel. Bye bye.